what up what up what up y'all i'm your host one three riding in the phone baby you know hashtag wgtg what's the goal you dig me right now this is just a little vlog man i couldn't bear to look at the shit you know but you know it, it's a distraction y'all know the distraction i'm talking about man you know no academic pulled it man academic shout out to you you pulled it man like that's a major situation the internet should break like three, four times just off that. You understand? Even streaming services probably crash because just off that. You know, um, what I got to say and what I have to say, man, you know, um, it's crazy, but it's fucked up. But you can respect. Listen, I respect what the young boy is trying to say with Don, whatever the fuck your name is. You know, um, I can respect that you came out your motherfucking mouth. And you like fucking niggas is jacket like young boy ain't lying, niggas in the streets, niggas like niggas is chilling with rat ass niggas in the streets. Yeah. But how he's saying it is like, listen, this rat ass nigga got money and I'm chilling with him. Fuck it, I'm jacking and he paying us. This is what it is. Hey pimp, I can respect that because you came out your mouth and said it. These other street niggas, they're not gonna come out their mouth and, 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 and tell you the whole truth. You know what I mean? Like Niggas that make up a story while they chilling with a motherfucker. I'm like, oh, that nigga ain't tell when you know what nigga told, you know? But everybody in the world know rainbow head motherfucker told, you know? And what I dislike about it is, you know, y'all, the, the streets already doing it. But now you, you manipulating these little kids' heads like it's cool to go commit a crime and tell on somebody. No, it's not cool, man. If you commit a crime, nigga, do that time. You was man enough to go harm somebody, to go rob somebody. You do that fucking time, man. If you get caught and you got to do that time for that case, you do that time. It ain't you. All right, let's just, let's say a nigga break into your grandmother's crib, right? Fuck your grandmother up. Come out and rat on his cousin or his friend. But he don't go to jail. But he fucked your grandmother up. He don't go to jail. But you can't, like, 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 like. The shit like, nah, nigga, you gonna do time for that, nigga. You got caught, you gonna do time for that shit. And, 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 and whatever comes out a motherfucking mouth, and this goes to the law, like, how y'all gonna believe something that comes out of a motherfucking mouth? Y'all caught this nigga for this crime. You know either he innocent or guilty, you know what I mean? You gotta fight the case, but at the end of the day, don't take the words that come out his mouth and be like, oh, such and such over here doing this, and you go over there, and this man... Busting his ass working, and all of a sudden he get taped for no apparent reason. The shit don't be making sense to me, man. It don't be making sense to me, man. And the young niggas be like, 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 all these niggas that's, that that saying the streets and myth and all that, like, y'all the most weirdest, corniest niggas that really never been on the streets. There's a difference. You might have lived on a block that was rough. But you never got money out there. You never chilled with none of the niggas out there. But you know the niggas out there because you live on the block. You go outside and play basketball. But you do not associate with the motherfuckers that's getting money on the block. Then you got a, your next door neighbor. He's the nigga that play with you. But he associate with all the niggas on the block. He get money with niggas on the block. But he conversates with you. That doesn't mean you're a street nigga, bro. You understand? That doesn't mean that, bro. You feel me? A civilian, a civilian is going to go to work, going to go to school. He's not going to talk no gangster shit. But at the end of the day, he's going to protect what's his. Now, if you got motherfuckers that's coming out and and, 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 and say, oh, I'm a gangster, I, I'm a killer, I'm this and that. Well, bro. And then you catch cases, bro. And then your first case is major and it's fucking ill, man. It's despicable, bro. And y'all niggas weird to me, man. Like, it don't make sense, man. That it, it don't make sense, man. And I guess a lot of bots, yo. A lot of bots change the game, man. Like, this shit don't make sense to me, man. Like, I don't... I don't know, man. You feel me? But shout out to Academic for breaking it a second time. You know? Shout out to Wack to be the first nigga to only really sit with the motherfucker. You know what I mean? Like... No people come at home, you gotta remember. This one niggas gotta remember. That nigga not in the streets no more. That nigga a multi-millionaire. You understand? So that motherfucker, he one of the first niggas that sat down with the motherfucker and, and, 
and let that nigga tell his story. You understand? But y'all want to get mad at him, but at the end of the day, y'all niggas got to get mad at yourselves because y'all motherfuckers chill with rats. And this is another thing I want to say, right? Because a nigga ratted on somebody, that rat can walk around anywhere, but that rat is not going to go to the neighborhood where he told on the niggas at. That's another key thing niggas need to understand. The only niggas that's going to harm the rat is the niggas he told on, family members, or et cetera. All right, let's say a nigga... A nigga told in Atlanta, but he go to Savannah. He chilling in Savannah. Those niggas in Savannah ain't got shit. They ain't got to harm that nigga. They ain't, they ain't they problem. You feel me? They letting the nigga breathe, but they know he a rat. But the rat, he's not going to go back to Atlanta because he know they going to smoke his ass in Atlanta. You go to Atlanta, nigga, you going to get killed. So the rat going to go to Atlanta. He, I mean, he, 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 he going to go to Savannah. He, he going to go to Miami. He going to go everywhere else, but with security. That nigga ain't gonna never, ever, ever in his life go back to Atlanta. It's like a nigga, if a nigga told in Philly, that nigga got, he, 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 he'd probably go to Rutten, Island Town, Pittsburgh, Ohio, Baltimore. He might go to them places, but the nigga gonna have security, right? But I promise you, that nigga will never, ever, ever, ever go back to Philly or go back to the place where he told on the niggas from. You understand? The rat will never, ever go back there. But then you got some niggas that's ratting and riding that don't give a fuck. Like, fuck it, nigga, I'll ride it and I'll smoke you niggas still. Now, I mean, like, I don't know, man. I don't know what to say, man. This shit crazy out here. You know, this is just my little vlog, man, you know. Um, I got some new music dropping, you know, um, 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 streaming. It's about to stream everywhere Friday, man. Go holler at me, man. All major platforms, all platforms, all streaming platforms, man. Download my shit, cop that shit, man. You did. You know, um, 08 Weezy, you feel me? Feature Tony the Don. Feature, m free my nigga, you feel me? But, um, yeah, man, shit live out here, man. Shit sad. This shit sad, man. Like, I don't, I don't know, man. Game, man, it, it ain't the game, it's the niggas in it, man. You know, everybody trying to change the narrative, man. You can't change the narrative, man. Law is law, bro. And, 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 and that's factual. It's actual factual. Law is law, man. And, and niggas don't respect the laws of gravity, man. Motherfuckers always trying to re reinvent and revamp shit. You know, always trying to change a narrative or something, man. And the narrative can't ever be changed, man. You know, that shit stand the test of time, man. A decade later, y'all niggas trying to change something. Shit, it, this shit crazy. When I look at things, I'm like, yo, what the fuck is wrong with people? Yo, these niggas is crazy. You can tell these niggas is fake, man. You can tell these niggas is fake. You come home, you see the shit, man. You, man, I'll punch a hole through the nigga head. <laughs> like, you see the shit. You you all husky. You see these niggas going to the gym. Like, y'all niggas still flabby and sick. You going all the way to the gym. You niggas weak as shit, nigga. I come home, nigga, all oxtail, nigga. I'm all, I mean, like, what the fuck wrong with you niggas, man? Stronger than an ox, nigga. Hit like a mule, motherfucker. But yeah, man, I got I gotta get more acquainted with this type of shit right here. You feel me? I I don't, I don't be doing this shit, man, cause I they be burning me for my views and shit. Like I don't be doing this shit, burning me for my for my subscribers and shit. Even streams, I'm like like <coughs> this shit rigged, bro. This shit rigged. <coughs> this shit rigged, man. This shit rigged, man. On only you can play and play. Only you can pay and play with something, man. And that's your thoughts, the process, the process of it, and your life. The process of that, motherfuckers. Chidi. Ah.